In this demonstration, I'm going to use uh, Packet Tracer to uh, show how to configure IPv6 stateless auto configuration. If you will recall, IPv6 stateless auto configuration is when we use the router to give our uh, workstation, our Windows machine, our devices the network address and then the uh, network address is, is a host of auto configured addresses are new addresses auto configured from the prefix provided by the router prefix being the network address so what we do is give the computer the network address it generates its own IP address it uses the, uh, the DAD the, the duplicate uh, uh, address detection protocol to be sure that it has not generated a duplicate address so with that said if I go into let me spread this guy out a little bit uh, hopefully the fonts are big enough to see uh, so we're going to enable if I show an IPv, IPv6 interface fast ethernet zero slash zero when I look at it, go up here, we do this, I have a uh, link local address, an FE80 address, no virtual link local addresses, no, we're not talking to anybody else, uh, no, vir no virtual addresses, excuse me, a global unicast address, which I gave it so that it will then have a subnet, the 2001 DBA2000, 00, zero colon colon forward slash 64 and the forward slash 64 64 bit subnet mask and then the uh, multicast addresses the join groups the groups that it is a member of in order to get uh, multicast addresses so we're going to config T the first thing that we need to do is to turn on IPv6 routing IPv6 unicast routing and then we should be able to go to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and then IPv6 enable uh, to do that and after we do the IPv6 uh, enable we should then turn on the auto config so it'd be IPv6 address auto config with that done we should now be configured to give addresses to these guys so we'll go into the first one here we'll go into the uh, fast ethernet zero zero it is configured for static we do an auto config and we get an address with the 2001 db8 uh, colon colon 2000 uh, for the uh, colon zero for the uh, uh, network address the one that we had before the link local address it has a link local address uh, with it we can go do the same thing with the next one a desktop config and then turn auto config on it you hear an IPv6 configuration we can either do DHCP or uh, auto config or static if we wanted to enable uh, static addresses if I now go back to uh, my uh, machine here, IPv6, okay, so I have my IPv6 address, I have my link local address, uh, my IPv6 address, the default gateway, FE80, notice that the default gateway is a link local address. The default gateways in IPv6 are the link local addresses, and the link local addresses are the ones that are, I guess for lack of a better uh, explanation, things that are configured at layer 2. They're on the same Ethernet uh, link, and I guess you can think link, data link layer, uh, those things that are talking to each other. So if I ping, let's try the 2001 colon db a colon two thousand colon zero colon colon then I get this this is the uh, this is the address 
of the uh, of router that we had for it. We can also try a copy and then go to the other guy here and go into his desktop and see if I can ping him. Ping, paste that and we get a response. So our uh, configuration is working correctly. We have the default gateway uh, to send the traffic to the router should we be able to need to get off of the network. So with that, that is the steps to configure IPv6 auto configuration for a uh, Cisco router.